You're watching Mutual Fund Corner. I'm Avni Raja. Over the past few weeks, we've talked about how mutual funds work and what are the different kinds of mutual funds. One question that investors often ask is that between equity mutual funds and direct stocks, which option should one opt for? That's the question that we're going to attempt to answer on today's episode. As we've discussed earlier, an equity mutual fund is essentially a basket of stocks actively managed by a professional fund manager. However, investing in a single stock is not the same as investing in a mutual fund. A fair comparison would be investments in a basket of stocks and equity mutual funds. Before we start comparing direct stocks and equity funds, one important thing to remember is that both avenues have a risk element. However, mutual funds are considered less risky compared to stocks. Mutual funds give you diversification across stocks and sectors, and so your risk is spread out. When it comes to direct stocks, you might face certain limitations simply because you don't have the required research or familiarity with certain companies or sectors. Another important difference is that mutual funds are a passive investment for the investor, but actively managed by a professional fund manager. However, Direct equity investments require active management from the investor. From a cost of investment perspective, investing in stocks works out cheaper than investing in a mutual fund. The brokerage that you pay when you buy a stock is much less than the fund management fee that you would pay while investing in a mutual fund. As far as your tax liability is concerned, you are eligible for long-term capital gains in both equity and your stock buys as long as you hold on to the investment for a period of one year. Direct stock picking is better suited for people who have the skill, knowledge and access to research and data in order to take stock calls. More importantly, investors in direct equities should have the time to monitor and manage their investments on a day-to-day -day basis. So whether you're a first-time investor or simply someone who doesn't have the time or inclination to actively manage a direct stock portfolio, mutual funds would be the better investment avenue. That's it on this episode of Mutual Fund Corner. If you have any questions, do write in to us. And if you found this video useful, don't forget to comment, share and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.